Hey everyone, it's Ray1940 here, and today we're on Enigma's Cold War server with Enigma himself. Now, we tried to do a run into 9-11, the sector, and the goal for tonight was to try and push for two sectors, because we wanted to close out the campaign so that we can do the April Fool's campaign. At the time, we didn't know what the April Fool's joke was going to be. Uh, normally, they change it up on Enigma's Cold War server, and they do stuff to test out how it'll fit in the server. And uh, we know now that it's the Apache. Um, but uh, back to the video, uh, we're gonna start out here. This is my second run, I think, into 9-11 or toward 9-11. And as I've left the FARP, I noticed that a Hip and a Hind have got into it with a Gazelle. Luckily, I was in position to cut off the Gazelle and to, um, rescue the other Hip from destruction. Yeah, I'm running, I'm trying to run parallel. If you keep coming back towards the FARP, he'll, you'll pull the Gazelle to me. The AJS is the big enemy. Alright, the gunner should yeah. start firing. Fucking F5 coming, of course. God damn, I got to fight this guy. Uh, you have a friendly MIG off your 10 before you head. Oh, that hey, F14. Nick, man, man, that F5 is uh, chasing me. I am turning south. I'm a Mirage on the deck. Got him. Nice. Uh, nice. You can try and bag him. Yeah. Welcome to the hip gang. I'm burning as fast as I can. So this was a pretty crazy um, dip into the sector here. We were able to get the recon troops down, and when situations like this are going on where there's a bunch of enemy aircraft overhead, I don't want to stay put with my recon guys. Um, and it's also very flat around here, so that increases the odds that you'll be seen if you stay on the ground. And also... Because it's flat, it kind of works to your advantage. You can probably see other enemy groups that are nearby um, as your recon is elapsing. So I decided to take off and just look around. And I, you know, I also feel it's better to just stay on the move in situations like this where there's a lot of jets going everywhere um, because they will see your dust cloud. And unfortunately, here Enigma gets shot down. I think by the F-14 that just buzzed right over our aircraft, and um, we start the hunt for a ground camp. I'm on I'm on this F5, I'm trying to get him. There's an F14 that just joined that big fur ball that's going on. Yeah, he's uh 338 for you, Enigma. Yeah, he fucking got me. I, I shouldn't oh. have stayed around there. Fish bed just to the F5. I just that, that 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 me. Uh pretty what is like on a six. So after we lift off from the recon drop, we find that there's a camp nearby and I'm able to get in position by dropping along some clumps of trees. Uh, the goal there was to make sure that we have them kind of covered, the, the ground guys, so that they're not going to get destroyed by enemy fire and hopefully obscure them a little bit from the um, overhead aircraft that are constantly buzzing around us. Yeah, yeah cause, cause if we get a giga push here, we're, and then we're set for the next reset to actually take it, I'm, I'm gonna call bombers in. Yeah, if you wanna call, you do dash request. Oh, yeah, dash request. And then you make a marker on the map, and in all caps, you type what you want, so you put bomber. We're doing the one near uh, So as I take off to loiter around, yeah, wait for my troop drops, the other guys are sending out bombers now to the enemy factories, and we're hoping that this is enough to uh, cause a huge push for red so that we can finish this campaign really quickly. And this moment that comes up here as I pass Tyler is so fast, but it's my favorite moment of the night because it just exemplifies how chaotic and crazy it was to fly around with all those uh, blue jets hunting us. Ryu, if this is you here, there's like three F5s. Down yeah, I see. <laughs> I just <laughs> flew right past you. flanking <laughs> right. Two of the rolling sites on Kakalka got uh. Said twelve thousand feet. Hold yes. up. Uh, like heading to zero three. Flanking right. Two six one. There. All right, I got tally on that A four. There's three F fives on the deck at BS eighty six. Rebel said, uh, eight ten two seven six. Off 276. Road, six miles. Is he low or high? Uh, 6,000 feet. Going cold. I'm on the A4 right now. Copy. Fox 2. So both the standard and the recon troops are done with their mission timers, and as I'm going to pick up the standards, um, in the hip it's really subtle, but if the tail gun's going off, you'll notice really slight vibrations, and um, I notice that, so... 
uh, instead of trying to pick my guys up, I'm worried that there's a gazelle or somebody out there um, because there were gazelles operating amongst the jets and stuff heading towards us. So uh, I end up having to do like a big clearing turn and I'm kind of sweeping the area with the, the left door gun to see if anybody's going to get hit. And it appears like nothing's going on, so it might have been the tail gunner is just shooting at the random F5s driving by. And also I could see my guys shooting at the shooting at something, so it was most likely a jet, but um, that's what I'm doing there to, to clear myself. I'm on a tail. I'm on a tail as well. I'm, I just about stalled myself out. I'm going to try to get a fox off on him. Come on, give me tone, give me tone. We're, we're like right. 20 points away from uh, getting uh, a second sector. I'm, I'm working on it. How much time's left? 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, 156. 810 is at half and... Oh, correction, sorry. 911 is just under half and uh, 913 is around half. Everything else of theirs is full and their west coast uh, 88 eight, we might capture as well. I'm not raiding the F5. Right. Nice. I'm on an F5 low. Uh, you have a friendly MIG on the way there, Rebel. Uh, Alright, copy. So because of the time constraints, we blow past uh, any recon, we're not going to recover them. I know that there's a camp out there, and so my goal is to try and drop on that guy. And as we're flying out there, um, it's... Uh, Hein just got obliterated. You could hear from six, the other six. guys running cap that we're kind of getting the advantage over um, Blue Air in the moment, but the problem now is that a nearby Blue Airfield um, has SAMs on it. So after we do this drop on the final camp, we're going to try and head down to the airfield with some other helicopters and suppress the SAM and then shut it down completely and destroy it. I'm the black smoke. Uh, he would be to your 152. I don't see that 14. If I do, maybe. No, nothing puppy up on DWR. Normally I shy away from the hot landings, but tonight was really amazing because there was so many threats that pretty much every landing had to be quick. Um, this one was unique because on top of that sloping terrain, uh, the camp was probably on the other side. And I didn't want to get too high because we saw the hind just get obliterated by the Bofors. Um, so at the range that we were at, you know, it would have been absolutely devastating. Um, so because of that, it's kind of hard to decelerate. You have to still have um, a couple degrees of collective in to keep the rotor from overspeeding. So there's a lot of banking and turning you've got to do and, and manage your collective as you're doing that. Um, anyways, we get down safely and after we get down safely, um, yeah, some of the guys guy are getting shot down again yeah, from the SAMs, them. and we're just Actually, waiting for the SU-17 yeah. seed strikes that we all credit called in. It is, it um, like and it doesn't take long before they actually yeah, start impacting the airfield. And from there, we just decide, okay, we're going to, once we get our troops out, we're going to go head down over there and try to attack the airfield with the helicopters. Yeah, look at that. We're splashing Rollins now. We're splashing nice. into the URs, not the actual launch. Oh, I see the yeah. missile as well. Oh, one just got hit. Oh, wow. There's the wrong yeah. one. Yeah. There we go. That's the first time I've seen it happen. I'm going to try and put standards near the airfield. Yeah, yeah I'm going to try. Once I pick reset. mine up, I'm going to take it up to that airfield and see if I can get the stuff over there and then roll around. Both marks for the two roll ins that were spotted are gone. It's just their support vehicles. Oh, okay. But they're, like uh, the other guy said, there should be a third. What would that F-14 fucks off? Or maybe, actually, what would be better if the F-14 doesn't realize his Rollins are not there anymore and then he, he, starts, <laughs> he gets overwhelmed? Yes. That's kind of what I'm looking for. If I spot him on the runway, I'll just fox for him with the MIA. He returned return to spectators. Uh, they get in the area. Big yeah. Heads up. Here on the deck, uh, near the airfield. Copy. It's on the southwest end. Got no cover down there. So. 
three mirages. Looks like they're getting ready to take off from Nazaria, myself included. Nice. And I'll just be booking it south to take up cover again. Me and him just are both picking up our troops that we just finished dropping off. Um, hmm. Yeah, I just picked right, up some taken. troops going to that airfield now to drop some standards on it. Uh, I'll right. join you. Looks like there is still a <sighs> Roland active at the airfield according to the uh, recon. Alright. Careful, right? There's two Vulcans at that east end of that runway. Alright. I'm trying to see if there's like any small little divot or hill I can get into that'll cover me. Or if the jets keep buzzing around and like hold the Vulcans oh, up and fuck. we can get in. It's over, we're gonna lose. There's a fucking saber on EWR. I don't know. Actually, you joke. That, I, that's what you use for helicopter hunting, genuinely. It's oh, yeah. uh, very, very oh, yeah, it's We're aware. So, <laughs> very, very slow. It's great. I just warp came to the F5. There's so many planes here. Actually, I will say, the, um, I think the only time I've ever achieved ace in a single flight on the server was using the big 15. I uh, ambushed an F5, and then I had GCI vectoring me onto uh, Hueys, which I kept firing out the tail rotors of with the 37 uh, millimeter. The grenade launcher? Is that the grenade launcher? The 37? No. The big, uh, the big 15 has a gigantic 37 oh, millimeter. Oh, that's cannon. right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I would purposely aim for the tail because I one, I know it's weak on the Huey, and two. Uh, it was very, very funny to see them fail to uh, auto rotate. <laughs> Alright, I'm putting troops down on these two Vulcans. I found a nice spot here on the south. W which yeah, side are you guys working on? You're still doing the same sector, but now on the northeastern side of it? Oh, we're like on the runway. We're, the we're on the airfield as well. Yeah, I'm on the airfield, just touch down, dropping uh, troops. I'm in the 40s. Alright, I'm, I'm coming into the airfield now with MiG 21. Are y'all on Kalkala? Okay. Uh, call, call, uh... Yeah. yeah. I dropped like right where the hangars stand. are. Yeah, there is a little sample, we're trying to take it out. Alright, I'm burning that way. Yeah, I got we're, all 12 of my troops out. We're yeah. still pretty far from a, a second sector. I don't we need, uh, we need 40 So at about all the same time, three hips make it to the airfield and start doing troop drops on the two Vulcans that are there. There's also a SAM site that's still up. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but, um... Both my engines die, so I assume there was some sort of fuel leak, um, maybe in the service tank, but yeah, I didn't investigate it further, I just saw my total fuel was still um, a normal level, so uh, something happened there, and I was basically stuck on the ground, but I didn't want to despawn or anything because I wanted to see if my guys were going to pop the SAM systems or the, or the Vulcans that are just a few hundred meters away from me. Another crazy thing is that there are flares going off on the ground there, and there's a Huey that is uh, really close to us that I don't know about yet. Lost eyes on him. Oh, just got buzzed by Vigan right above the airfield. Magenta is it east side of the airfield? East side, east side. Yeah, I see him. I see him. Yeah, left hand turn. Yep. I'll be, uh, kill him. Oh, hi, right. <laughs> Where knows on him and kill him? Oh, he killed my gunners, dude. Damn it. Oh. Both of them. Alright, I'll just Fox Force somebody if I see him. Um, <laughs> tell me what's your uh, troops uh, destroy stuff, by the way. I'm going to go in with the. um uh, yeah, try to drop them on the airfield itself. Yeah, they should pop here in less than a minute. Copy. Who's fighting this Vigan? Uh, Stagger, it's me. Just, just straighten out and run. He, he's, he's shooting guns at you. Oh, I'm in a helo, so. God damn it! Somebody nice. shot him oh. in What the fuck was that? Well, the Vigan may have. Vigan just went down. Nice. Still yeah, another. The XP or... just got a Roland. Nice. Yeah, I'm on the north-south runway now. There's, a, there's an A4 here close somewhere. I'll be... Once that Vulcan pops, I'm going in hard and dropping directly under the runway. 
Yeah, try and hit the intersection between the two runways. You might pop that second group. I'm taking, yep. uh... There's, there's ace fours here. There I don't is. see them. I got the Vulcans. Got it. Going in. Uh, I'm going down. Oh no, what got you? Vulcan, the one on the uh, east side, side of the north yeah. south runway. Yeah. Just saw your explosion. Oh, there's a Huey at the airfield right now. Damn. Oh shit, where is it? He's at, he's coming towards some flares right now. Uh, he's where I have my soldiers down on the ground. I'm, I'm stopped. Might have eyes on. He's over a hangar. He's about to crash into a hangar, I think. Something shooting. Air defense. The Vulcan fucking shooting at me like crazy. He's on the east side of the airfield. I'll be looking. Fucking Raj F1 just shot at me. What the fuck? I'm gonna land here, drop off the troops. Okay, if you land there and then you. When you drop them, take off and turn right and come down uh, towards hey, the, the east side. You, you'll run across them, I think. Yeah. You might have crashed. I, I have guns to try and hunt them down. Oh, I see him still. Nice. This A4 must be on the, on the ground, because I, I don't see him. Yeah, I don't either. I don't see him in the uh, EWR. I'm on the. Yep. Well. Uh, dropping troops now. Is the Huey right on the edge of the tarmac? I think so. I put it. Yep. I'll put a marker. I can't see him because he's behind a berm, but he's on the airfield side, like near some hangars. Okay. Yeah, sure. You, you might be over uh, right five now. coming in from uh, two four three. About ten kilometers out from Cal. Troops are out. Troops are out. Turning right. Correction, more like 30 kilometers. But he's heading your way. I think his airfield's done. I think we go back to the troops. Uh, there's still, there might still be some stuff here, and I kind of want to leave those guys because they're at the end of the runway for both sides. So if they take off, they're going to get shot up by with they. All right, the Huey looks like he's trying to lift. Yep, I just, I, I spooked him. He's moving now. Looking for him. Which side of the airfield is the Huey at? Uh, I, I, got him, I got him. I got him. East side. East side. Press to get down with 23 millimeter. Uh, you got a Sturm coming in at him. Careful, turn full. Alright. You got oh, me. Oh, yeah! I saw that! That was good. Unfortunately, I died on the ground here at the airfield, but it was cool watching what was going on. It was fun having an Enigma fly around with us. We eventually would go on um, to the tick and push two sectors, and then I think a sector two more after the following tick. So it was a really successful night. Um, yeah, I hope to catch you guys out there and flying with us or flying against us and it was fun flying with Enigma and I hope you enjoyed all that. See you on the next one. Bye.